मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ ए ग्लाइकोसाइड्स एक्चुअली वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट कार्डिया ग्लाइकोसाइड्स एंड इट्स केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड अबाउट कार्डिनोलाइट्स बेफेनोलाइट्स दिस ऑल वी हैव स्टडीड सो इवन वी हैव वी नो अबाउट सम जनरल आइडिया but still we have to come across now uh, some androkin glycosides aloes senna and these all things are in included so before that we have to know about uh, some of the general um, <coughs> definitions of glycosides and various classification of glycosides which we have seen in previous class it's a revision actually but some of them are not given in the previous uh, um, section uh, which will be included here so chemical tests are very very important as i told uh, uh, in the last class itself i was explaining you about what all the questions which they have asked previously so even chemical structure how it is important and the chemicals which you are using in chemical test is also very important to specify properly about their percentage about their um, color everything should be simply writing something will not possible every teachers will see the correct thing even i have seen many papers which was simply they have written always hcl always uh, chloroform all these things but when to add where to add what is the color what is the constituents these all things you have to study in detail and you have to remember and answer properly so we are going to see about the general glycosides and its chemical test and the drugs we will see in the next class so even uh, this portion is also included in your uh, sessional exam so you have to read this also for your exam and to be ready some of them is already we have studied and some of them not yeah, not studied so monday you are having an exam so you have to be ready for it so you see uh, first uh, we can see glycosides are uh, um, generally classified in two ways uh, on the basis of for example when you see uh, they are they are classified uh, in the basis of two ways one is uh, by means of their linkage glycoside we may be knowing about a this has two part a glycan part and a sugar part which will be linked uh, and that uh, by means of oh if it is sometimes it can be linked in carbon sometimes linked in hydrogen sulfur so uh, according to the linkage it can be differentiated o glycoside n glycoside s glycoside and c glycoside so o glycosides the sugar moiety is combined with phenol or oh group of a glycan example amygladin endesin arbutin salicin cardia glycosides androkin glycosides like senosides etc and n glycosides it is a sugar molecule is combined with n of the nh there is amino group of a glycan so example nucleosides yes glycosides sugar moiety is combined with and sulfur or sh thiol group of a glycan and synergin is an example we can say to it and you see c glycosides sugar moi sugar molecules or molecule is directly attached with carbon atom of a glycan example androkin glycosides like aloin borboloin cascarosides and flavon glycosides etc and glycosides generally we know that the nature of the, the nature glycosides are formed by interaction of nucleotides glycosides like uh, uridin phosphate glucose with alcohol phenol steroid and uh, 
you can see triterpenoid and flavonoids etc and joined by glucosidic linkage and these are non uh, re reducing do not reduce to by filling solution which you used to use as a carbohydrate chemical test which give brick red uh, color you remember in your biochemistry is the main test which you might have studied and organic uh, substances which are hydrolyzed yield one or more sugar mo molecules along with non sugar molecules the sugar molecules known as a glycan and non sugar molecule termed as a glycan part sugars are hemiacetal and occurs as oxide rings just i did not say about the definition that's why i took this slide for you to have an explanation about that so glycosides can be defined as a condensation product of hydroxyl group of an a glycan and a hemiacetal hydroxy group of sugars the a glycan may be any compound containing at least one hydroxy group to which the glycosidal hydroxyl group of sugar joins glycosides are colorless crystalline or amorphous solid substances uh, we can say flavonoids are yellow colored whereas androsine glycosides are red to orange like that also we can say some of the example generally poisonous in nature that is we are telling about some of them especially generally these are soluble in water and alcohol but insoluble in ether and chloroform very low polar solvents like uh, uh, ether and chloroform they are insoluble optically active and usually they are levorotatory compound in their optical rotation so uh, when you are coming to uh, um, this uh, glycosidic hydroxyl group how it is uh, suppose if it is a minimum of OH group can also be a glycoside so what is uh, where the sugar moiety or where the A glycan moiety will be attached with the sugar molecule or where the sugar moiety will be attached with the A glycan part by means of an OH group it usually takes place so we can say that is an uh, uh, anomeric form or an you can say it is an alpha form beta form isomeric form isomers of optical rotation of isomeric form alpha form beta form how it is formed by means of presence of above the plane and below the plane of the OH can decide this type of glycosides that is what the student have to remember glycoside hydroxyl groups reacts with large number of organic compounds and acid liable example the organic moiety attached to glycosidic hydroxyl group is hydrolyzed by acid whereas other are not so the sugar present in glycosides are of two isomeric form that is alpha form and beta form but also the natural glycosides contain beta type of sugars sugars also have according to the OH presence you can say alpha type and beta type because they are carbon atom is chiral carbon atom so they have their optical isomerism so when they are in the sugar moiety itself they can say that is uh, it is alpha or beta which can get attached with an a glycan molecule and can be decided as alpha and beta so you have to remember what is your by basic chemistry what you studied about optical isomerism sequence rule all these things you have to refer from your organic chemistry what you study you have to know about what is when you are coming to this advanced chemistry in plant chemistry you should know the basic what you have studied remember again and again you have to read that basic what you studied and you can see this structure how we have written that for, that is a glucose the alpha d glucose and the beta d glucose how the dotted line of the oh group is shown there and you can see that uh, hydrogen is shown uh, where it is presence of hydrogen in the 
in in the upside and the downside of the presence of hydrogen according to that when the hydrogen is present in the up it can be say as alpha and the dough it can be say as the beta like that it can be denoted for the writing on the structure in a paper and you see here the simplest glycosides are alpha methyl glycosides and beta methyl glycosides both type of glycosides can be hydrolyzed by using mineral acid whereas this can be specifiedly hydrolyzed by using enzyme enzyme can determine whether it is alpha glycoside or beta glycoside can be easily identified by the enzymatic hydrolysis if you see alpha glycosides can be hydrolyzed only by maltase which can give the glycan part and a glycan part can be hydrolyzed and beta glycosides when you use emulsin emulsin or uh, emulsin emulsin when you are using that enzyme you will get a glycan and glycan can be separated by hydrolysis by that you can decide that when you are using uh, emulsin and you are seeing that the sample it doesn't hydrolyze then you can say oh, emulsin is not having effect so it is an alpha glycoside but in the same time when it is having hydrolysis action then you can say it is beta glycosides or when you are using maltase and if there is it is not hydrolyzing then you can say if it is not hydrolyzing by means of using maltase you can say it is beta glycosides but if it is hydrolyzing then you can say it is alpha glycosides so by that it is can be identified so just you have shown a reaction by means of how a d glycoside is just reacted with a methanol and giving a methyl beta d glucose and also methyl alpha d glucose in the simplest uh, glycoside molecule so here what is the a glycan here what is the a glycan here the methyl beta d glucose glucose is a sugar molecule and ch3 is the a glycan that is why it is called as simplest glycoside molecule otherwise instead of ch3 o glycoside linkage we will have a complex uh, steroidal ring structure or terpene can be attached to that and you will say it is a, for example glyceritic acid if it is an or in uh, any type of uh, molecules which is attached then we will say according to the a glycan you will say the name of the drug particular secondary metabolite and now we are coming to on the basis of chemical structure of a glycan the form the pharmacological activity also we can classify them in different forms and number one is androquine glycosides these are derived from androquinones quinones double bond five six membered compounds of androquinone derivatives possess purgative property they have purgative that is the second step of little more higher version of the laxative reactivating of the bowel for any type of constipation we can use that as all of the drug they are called purgative property so they are classified as an androquine glycoside androquinone glycoside may be dihydroxyphenol chrysophenol that is dihydrophenol is chrysophenol in the bracket trihydroxyphenol amodine is an example or tetrahydrophenol tetrahydrophenol is also available androquinone derivatives are often orange colored compound soluble in hot water and alcohol example cyanocytes a b c and d and the second one we can say cardiac glycosides which already we have seen in the previous another cardiac glycoside and steroid we have studied about the digoxin all these things digitalis we have seen but still we have to specifically you have to read again the same thing reputation and this understand about the definition and also chemical test you have to repeatedly i have written here and some of them may be there some of them is additionally may be here so you have to read and you have to compare and you have to study properly and cardiac glycosides are composed of steroidal a glycan with a five membered lactone ring and acts as a cardiac uh, acts on the cardiac muscle these are known as cardiotonic glycosides cardiac tonic glycosides and the cardiac activity dependent on both the a glycan and the sugar molecule the activity re resides on the a glycan but the sugar renders the compound more soluble which increases the power of fixation of the glycoside to the hot muscles and these are divided into two of subdivision which we have seen that is five number six the lactone ring which is present in the c17 example that is digoxin and the uh, uh, that is dixitoxin and oleandrin and if suppose buffonalize they are six member lactone ring in the c17 steroidal ring structure position and they are they are they are example celarinin a which is present in the squill 
is also a, a cardiac glycosate derivative which is present. It looks like an actually white in color looks like our um, uh, garlic but it is not squill. Squill is poisonous. It is a rodenticide actually. It has cardiac glycosides with uh, buffanolide. Six membered ring structure which is present in the C17 steroidal ring. And you can see supporting glycosides also we have studied in the previous slides. And the previous class also we have seen about the, the um, diosgenin or dioscorea which we have studied very clearly and also the chemical tests also we have studied but it is a reputation we should know that. So what is that? They are foam forming, they are they are soap formation, they are they will, they will form emulsive, they are they, they are they will reduce the surface tension when it is added in the water or in a liquid. So it forms honeycomb like foam when shaken with water and causes hemolysis in the blood and uh, saponin complex organic compound distributed in the higher plants on are toxic to cold blooded animals and lower animals like earthworm and fishes and these are soluble in alcohol but insoluble in ether and light petroleum on hydrolysis it is a glycon known as sapogenin generally steroids and the sugars. Depending on the egg like on white saponins are of two types that is steroidal saponin and also pentacyclic terpene saponin. This we have seen, we have discussed in the previous classes. If you listen to my previous class, if you read my previous um, notes, then you will be understanding how the teacher have given you some explanation about these saponins. And the steroidal saponin, tetracyclic triterpenoids, these contain cyclopentano per hydro phenandrin ring phenandrin ring you should know that steroidal ring is a phenandrin ring with a five attached with a five membered uh, ring structure there only we are telling about the 17th position if you have six member then you will say cardinal will buffanolize and five member you will say cardinalize just now we have seen about the cardiac glycoside here also the same structure but it has a different that means for example it has tetracyclic tetracyclic 4 tetracyclic tri terpenoids steroidal uh, saponin this contains cyclopentanone perhydro phenandrin ring example diosgenin obtained from dioscoria species and you can see pentacyclic tetra uh, tri terpene saponin these are polymer these are polymers of isoprene units isoprene units the basic units for terpenes isoprene Isoprene units, that is again and again I am repeatedly telling my students should not forget about isoprene units which has 5 carbon atom, that is dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate or pentyl pyrophosphate, that is they are the two molecules which gives various compounds which we have produced, we have biosynthetic pathways when you studied, we have seen about this isopentyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate which are the isoprene units responsible for the production of various compounds in the secondary metabolites and are mainly derived from beta amyrin and example glyceritinic acid and obtained from glyceris glabra and number four is cyanophoric and the cyanogenetic glycosides the glycosides which are hydrolyzed yields the cyanohydric acid HCN and the benzaldehyde and sugars the medicinal activity of cyanogenic glycosides is due to presence of cyano or hydrocyanic acid and these are characteristic of family rosaceae example amygladin obtained from the bitter element prunus amygladus and prunacin is obtained from white cherry bark and it is the iso thiocyanate glycoside is also there isothiocyanate so these are sulfur containing compound rich in family like crucifera family also known as glucosinolate cyanolates and on hydrolysis yield isothiocyanate ncs group these glycosides are generally irritant and hence were used externally as counter irritant for very heavy pain counter irritant and example Synergrin from the black mustard and a synalbin from the white mustard and glucanapin from the rap seeds. And it is in bitter glycosides. These are complex organic compounds containing lactone ring. 
soluble in water and very bitter in taste even in much dilute solutions these increase the secretion of GIT and reflex action and are used as stomachic, febrifuge and bitter tonic example gentio picric and amarogentin from gentian root and chirata picrocytes and kutkocyte and picrosiasa and andrographolites are from Kalmak and quasin from quasia wood. These are some of the examples for bitter glycosides. Kumarin glycosides, kumarin, kumarin glycosides. These are aromatic compounds containing benzo alpha pyrone ring system. The alcoholic solution of kumarin shows blue green fluorescence on addition of alkali. Some kumarins are containing the ring attached to 6 to 7 or 7 to 8 portion in kumarin ring and called as furono kumarin. These are generally used externally in the skin disorder and in sun tan, sunburn, sun tan preparation, sun protection preparation because they have property to absorb UV radiation from the sunlight which can fall on the skin and may darken or may react with the skin. So, insulin from plants of family Rosaceae and Scopolin Furanocumarins are generally present in family Rotaceae. Ambiferae and Legomonaceae like Pesrolin or Pesrolin, Xanthotoxin, Bergartin and Imperatorin. And you see flavone glycosides, flavonoids, we have studied flavone glycosides also there. These are complex organic compound containing phenyl benzo pyrone ring. Phenyl benzopyrone ring. Flavones are present in plants in free state or in glycosidal state or O glycoside or C glycosides. We with the different derivatives like flavin, flavonol, flavonone, isoflavone, and chalconones. Example in rotin, quercetin, hyprocytes. Diosmin from bauchi leaf, hesperidin from lemon and orange peels, and vetexin from caratigus. And if the extraction and isolation of glycosides, powdered drugs are extracted with alcohol in succulent extractor. Alcoholic extract was then treated with lead acetate solution to precipitate tannins, proteins coloring matter and other non-glycosidal part. The precipitate formed was filtered and to the filtrate you have added with hydrogen sulfide gas and passes to precipitate excess of lead and the lead sulfide is removed by filtration. Filtrate was evaporated to dryness on water bath and dried residue was collected and weighed to get total Total glycoside content can be identified, percentage yield can be identified, and a and the specific classes of glycosides there are a glycon are extracted, and there not there are there a glycons are extracted with specific methods are also available. This is just a general method. Chemical test for glycosides: glycosides are the compounds of organic molecules having attached with glucose or any mono oligosaccharide unit and usually these are crystalline or amorphous solid optically active soluble in water and alcohol but insoluble in organic solvents like ether chloroform and benzene etc generally aqueous or alcoholic extract of crude drugs are tested with specific reagents for presence of various type of glycosides Chemical test for androquinone glycosides, 
bone tracker test, modified bone tracker test, chemical test for saponin glycosides, hemolysis test and the foam test. Chemical test for steroid and triterpenoid glycosides, leatherman bucha test, salcoxy test, antimony trichloride test, trichloroacetic acid test, tetranitromethyl test, Zimmerman, that means Zimmer, sorry, Zimmerman test. So, these all tests I have listed out because the students, once they return the name of the test, they can write at least the name and you can make yourself some hints while studying the procedures, chemicals involved for the test and the color which is obtained for the identification, you have to note yourself, you should prepare one hints and study so that it will be easy for you to write in the examination for any type of short notes and all, it is precise and it should have the particular color and the chemical components, how much ML you are using in the test tube, which is very important for the, the for your writing purpose. So please study by means of writing by pen and writing a hints. Take a hints, take a small note, whatever we are giving material. From the material, you prepare yourself. That is very important. And chemical test for cardiac exercise we have studied already. It is coming, it, we have studied, but still it is listed out and still the procedure also I am going to repeat in this class. So it will be easy for you to remember if you have studied, it will refresh you. And you can see, killer Kilani test, legal test, Baldet test and 3,5-dinitrobenzoic acid test. Chemical test for cumarin glycoside, ferrochloride test and fluorescent test. And chemical test for cy that is cyanophoric glycosides, sodium picrate test. Chemical test for flavonoid glycosides, ammonia test, cenodas test, vanillin hydrochloric acid test. And number one, the chemical test which we are told the list one by test we are going to see. Chemical test for androquinone glycosides. There is bone dragger test and modified bone dragger test. When there is two tests, what is modification? Just a small one chemical may be added. So you have to know about why we are adding. For what purpose you are getting that uh, modification is done. These all things the students have to write there themselves. They have to prepare one simple hints so that it will be easy for you to remember to write in the examination. So to add one gram of the androquin glycoside drug, for example, senna powder or an uh, aloe, is this you can take and you can go for this chemical test. One gram of the drug and add 5 to 10 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid boil on water bath for 10 minutes and filter the filter was extracted with carbon tetrachloride or benzene and add equal amount of ammonia ammonia is aqueous carbon tetrachloride is non aqueous they are immiscible so you can see equal amount of ammonia there will be two layers will be there ammonia solution of filtrate will be shaken in the formation of pink red color in the ammonical layer in the aqueous layer that is ammonical layer due to the presence of androquin moiety can be easily identified. So what is the difference in the modified bone tracker test? Only thing is addition of ferric chloride. Why you have to add additional ferric chloride? That you have to remember. Because O-glycoside is the C-glycoside is the N-glycoside is the C -glycoside, o glycoside C glycoside are very common in androquin glycoside. So C glycoside will not give the reaction of the bone tracker test. So we need modified bone tracker test to identify C glycoside. So, so to 1 gram of drug of 5 ml of Hydrochloric acid solubilized by followed by 5 ml of ferric chloride solution, 5 percentage volume weight by volume. The boil for 10 minutes on the water bath, cool and filter. The filtrate was extracted with carbon tetrachloride or benzene, the same procedure, and add equal volume of ammonia solution, formation of pink color or red color due to the presence of androquin moiety. This will be given by the uh, this will be given by the C type of androquin glycosides. And chemical test for supporting glycosides, we have studied this. This is, as I told, this is a repetition. Hemolysis test also we have seen. I have given this procedure. One drop of blood on a slide with a mix, uh, mixed with a few drops of aqueous saponin solution. Uh, red blood cells are ruptured and this presence of saponins we can find out. And form test, already it will use form. So one gram of the drug added with 10 to 30, 20 ml of water. Shake for few minutes. Formation of frothing which persist for 60 to 120 seconds presence of saponin and chemical test for steroid and triterpenes steroid and triterpenoids 
glycoside liver man buchard test alcoholic extract of the drug was evaporated to dryness evaporated to dryness and extract again extracted with chloroform chcl cl3 chcl3 is chloroform add a few drops of acetic anhydride followed by concentrated sulfuric acid in the sides of the walls of the test tube to chloroform extract formation of violet blue color ring at the junction of you can see a violet you can see the junction in the junction of the two liquid aqueous and the non aqueous junction of the two liquids you will see a violet to blue color ring at the junction of two liquids indicates the presence of sugar moiety and salcoxy test salcoxy test alcoholic extract of the drug was evaporated to dryness and extracted with chloroform added with sulfuric acid H2SO4 from sides of the test tube to and to the chloroform extract which you have taken formation of yellow yellow color yellow ring which you have shown in the picture in the microscope in the in the test tube the formation of yellow color ring at the junction of the two liquids which turns to red after some time after two minutes indicates the presence of sugar moiety and the many trichloride test alcohol extract of the drug was evaporated to dryness and evaporated and extracted with chloroform and saturated solution of antimony trichloride in in chloroform containing 20 percentage of acetic anhydride formation of pink color on heating indicates presence of steroids and triterpenoids trichloroacetic acid test triterpenes on addition of saturated solution of trichloroacetic acid forms colored precipitate tetra nitro methane test it forms yellow color with unsaturated steroids and triterpenes zuberman test meta dinitrobenzene solution was added to the alcoholic solution of the drug contains alkali contains alkali maybe sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide usually on heating it forms violet color in the presence of keto steroid keto steroid so keto steroid identification specific things you have to remember and the chemical test for cardiac glycosides we have studied already but still i am giving this procedure repeated for the students to study it's needed chemical test general glycosides means you have to remember and is it similar kinali test to the alcoholic extract of the drug equal volume of water and 0.5 ml of strong acid clinic acetate solution was added and shaken and filtered and filter of the extract is equal volume of chloroform you have added and chloroform was evaporated to dryness you are extracting with chloroform and the chloroform is dryness and residue you will get a residue and dissolved that is dissolved in 5 ml of glycyl acetic acid and followed by addition of few drops of ferric chloride solution and resultant solution is transferred to the another test tube and containing already 2 ml of sulfuric acid it is possible or in the sides of the test tube they used to add in some cases any of you have to add this one to the uh, containing 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid reddish brown layer is formed which turns to bluish green after standing due to presence of digit toxos you can see the picture that is filter that is filtrate which you got from the let us state solution and then what you got a filtrate you have to chloroform and extract it and then you have to evaporate the residue is treated with glycyl elastic acid in addition of chloric chloride and the sulfuric acid in the test tube in the walls of the test tube also can be added or keep the, the sulfuric acid in the test tube and you can slowly add this extract bluish green color is in the upper layer and the reddish brown to change to reddish brown and is reddish brown in the ring there is steroidal ring nucleus you can identify so every chemical test you can make yourself as a hint which i have shown here in the below my picture so you can see the next one is legal test to the alcoholic extract of the drug equal volume of the water and 0.5 ml of strong lead acetate solution added and shaken and filtered you want to remove all the sulfide that is lead acetate which ever can it precipitate any other type of metal compounds which can be removed and you can see filter and extract with equal volume of chloroform as you did before and then extract evaporate to the dryness 
and the residue was dissolved in 2 ml of pyridine and sodium nitroprusside 2 ml was added into that you can you can in china dish or in the even you can see in a porcelain dish or even in the tissue followed by addition of sodium hydroxide solution makes make it alkaline formation of pink color presence of glycoside presence of glycoside specifically on egg like on moiety you can have that is cardiac glycoside not presence of central glycoside cardiac glycosides can be identified by legal test by the test this also for cardiac glycoside thin section of the leaf with a digitalis or a part of the drug can be all cardiac glycoside dipped in the sodium picrate solution forms a yellow to orange color presence of egg like on of glycosides simple test with the drug can be also identified the digitalis and the 3 5 dinitro benzoic acid test to the alcoholic solution of the drug few drops of sodium hydroxide uh, followed by 2 percentage of solution of 3 5 dinitro benzoic acid was added and formation of pink color indicates the presence of cardiac glycosides so this is also one identification for cardiac glycoside chemical test for cumarin glycosides ferric chloride test to the concentrated alcoholic so extract of the drug few drops of alcoholic ferric chloride solution was added formation of deep green color which turns yellow on addition of concentrated nitric acid indicates the presence of cumarins fluorescent test the alcoholic extract of drug was mixed with one normal sodium hydro hydroxide solution 1 ml and development of blue green fluorescent indicates presence of cumarins chemical test for cyanophoric glycosides sodium picrate test powdered drug moistened with water in a conical flask and few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid was added filter paper impregnated filter paper should be dipped impregnated with sodium picrate solution followed by sodium carbonate solution was tapped over the neck of the flask and corked and formation of brick red color due to the volatile the volatile hcm produced in the presence of cyanophoric acid this shows that cyanophoric glycosides is present you might have seen this type of experiment when you are studying limit test in your first year inorganic chemistry when you are studying first year you might have studied about the limit test of chloride limit test of sulfide limit test of arsenic when you study the limit test of arsenic there will be a filter paper which might have kept in the top of the particular conical flask or by means of the Ebner Mayer flask which you might have fixed with a fixed with a filter paper with a cork in that we will get a spot of color which shows indicates the presence of arsenic so same time here we are not, we are not arsenic here also we will get a brick red color formation in the impregnated filter paper which you have kept above the flask will be converted into brick red which shows that this contain this drug which is kept moistened by water with the conical flask with the sodium picrate test that is when you are as if they added with the sulfuric acid shows that it contains that is cyanophoric glycosides due to the presence of this uh, the formation of the red color the um, presence of hcn can be identified and chemical test for flavonoid flavonoid glycosides ammonia test filter paper dipped in alcoholic solution of the drug and exposed to ammonia vapor Formation of yellow spot on the filter paper can indicate that the presence of flavone glycosides. And the next one is Shinoda's test to the alcoholic extract of drug magnesium tannin with dilute hydrochloric acid was, on, was added. Formation of red color indicates the presence of flavonoids. To the alcoholic extract of drug sink turning and the dilute hydrochloric acid was added formation of deep red to magenta color indicates the presence of dihydroflavonoids vanillin hydrochloric test vanillin hydrochloride was added to the alcoholic solution of the drug formation of pink color due to presence of flavonoids and pharmaceutical application of glycosides simply there are many applications i have taken some few for our discussion glycosides are widely used in pharmaceutical industry including production of steroidal hormones vitamins active pharmaceutical ingredients and also for therapeutical purposes it can be applied directly in a tablet form also digoxin is one of the biggest example 
and some important applications are listed below as we can see number one digital is used in the treatment of congestive heart failure strophanthus which strophanthin is strophanthus is a drug which is as a cardiotonic and diuretic it can be used squill as a rodenticide which is a poisonous this drug which is used for rodenticide which, which we have silarinin A is present in squill which is an buffenolide which we have seen just now a structure which is present buffenolide which have six member ring or lactone ring structure which is attached to the 17th carbon atom of the of the steroidal ring structure when you study cardiac glycosides you should remember that and olandrin and al 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 alanarin an anti-cancer drug is present and senna and rhubarb they are used as a laxative and purgative aloe is also used as a purgative and aloe is having many uses cosmetic uses and diosgenin used in the production of steroidal hormone like estrogen and progesterone and the glyceratinic acid used in the in anti-inflammatory uh, which is present in glycerin is a glabra and quillia used in the emulsifier and Almond bitter, which bitter, which is present, used as an expectorant, and picrosia and calmag bitter and uh, liver disorders it can be used, and rooting is also venoactive and as a source for vitamin P. Venoactive means it is a permeability hormone the vitamin, which is, increases the permeability, which is also needed for various absorption and action of various drugs, and also it is an important factor for a, a normal physiological function of a human being. So vitamin P is also we should know. So you see, here just I added in the slide to know about the definitions and the importance of the venoactive means. What is venoactive? The venoactive drugs can be defined as a group of natural occurring or synthetic drugs that acts as a capillary permeability or venous tone. And the vitamin P is known as the permeability vitamin since it, it is lessons of permeability in the walls and capillary blood vessels whereas substance like that is paprika extract and lemon juices contains vitamin P and therapeutically effective they are. Chemically vitamin P seems to be flavano glucosid known as citrin. Citrin you might have studied. You just refer what is citrin is a mixture of glycosides of hesperidin and erodectiol that means erodectiol you can say dicetiol also we can say it is present in oranges and even citrus fruits hesperidin in the skin of oranges in the outer skin of the oranges hesperidin even we have to, we can isolate hesperidin it is an experiment for you to do in the lab so isolation of hesperidin is also available in your syllabus. So just go through and study. Thank you for listening very clear. And also you see with examination, as we have information, you just follow the proper instruction and which are giving. And you have to, don't do malpractice, write properly and you have to give 10 marks means 10 marks. You have to detail it, not only the notes, Copying the notes, you have to write extra, you have to write, you have to write extra, whichever you are seeing in the internet. And also two mark means not one line, two line. Write, explain properly. Five marks question also. So explain properly. And we are made into two parts especially. And both the part, I will upload my question. And the sir will upload his question. You have to write it separately and upload to my in my section in my question and upload his answers in his question so that the marks will be distributed in that way and you can see expect the questions like that so especially we have decided to make such that that means you may be knowing the model which we are told so essay question will be taken from as one ten mark will be from my part and one 5 mark question will all be from the my part. 1 5 mark question is from, from sir's, Leslie sir's part. And you can see, and he will give, there are 5 short notes. That is 2 mark question, not short note, 2 mark question. So in 5 2 mark question, 2 2 mark questions will be given by sir. And 3 2 mark question will be given by me. So, 
sir will be giving for 9 marks and I will be giving for the 21 marks will be covered from my syllabus. And we know that the syllabus was little more I have covered. So, 21 marks will be given from my portion. So, please be ready for the questions on exactly according to the time schedule and no answer paper no answer no consideration will be provided for you if you are uploading later than one o'clock strictly it is said it is time is more which is given you have to you have to upload in 12 o'clock itself one o'clock is next lot of lot of time it is not at all necessary for the student no excuses will be given that's what you have to see and that means you are simply wasting your time you are not given any importance for the exam examination means three or uh, one hour examination this one right within one hour Cop you are just seeing and copying you have to read and write without seeing when you copy and write you need time who reads your copyright we don't want why why we want your copyright we want to see your writing capacity or your design of handwriting no we don't want to see that we want your memory power and the study education how you are the student have read the notes read and ready for writing without seeing the notes then only you can finish that properly why we are giving this much time and some students still they used to say i don't have an internet i don't have time and if you don't have time just leave it it was really insulting to the teacher and insulting to the profession. Please try to do it properly for all the students. And also I heard that some of them just keeping and they are going out. Even the teacher has finished the, uh, the lecture and he is not finding the student to go. He, because he doesn't want to respect the teacher, he doesn't want to listen to the teacher what he is saying. Simply he is taking the instrument and he is working there. Then and uh, complaining about internet, complaining about the parents, complaining about the teacher, complaining about everybody. He is so perfect. We know you have to think that and do it perfectly. All the best. Thank you. Bye.